guys. This video is to show y'all the, uh, the Strike Pack FPS Dominator on PS4 controller plugged into my PC. And it's working. You can see the button overlay. I'm not hitting the X, but me hitting X on the paddle on the back and hit circle up circle on the back. Paddle on paddles on the back are hitting X and circle as you guys can see. So I'll just run through real quick how to do that. Uh, people out there think it's not possible and the only videos that say it's possible are not very good videos. Um, so basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna download the zip in the description and it's just the SCP toolkit um, and you're gonna unzip it and install it. it's exe it's gonna give you this file right here you guys can't see it because the, uh, the controller turn that controller off for you it's gonna give you a file that S CP toolkit right there that's gonna have a bunch of different things in it but what's gonna concern you is the SCP toolkit driver installer um, <clears throat> and so it looks like that well, it's this icon down here SBC toolkit driver installer that was just asking if I would like allow it to run kind of thing so there's here's the driver installer here's what you're gonna get um, you're gonna click off install Bluetooth driver and turn off DualShock 4 or DualShock 3. You just want to click install DualShock 4 driver and force driver installation. And then wait over here where it says choose DualShock 4, you're gonna choose the, uh, the wireless controller that you have plugged in. It should just say wireless controller. So you want to have the DualShock connected and plugged into your PC. Just like how you would plug it into your PlayStation. So the keys here are just install DualShock 4 driver, force driver installation, and wireless controller. And then you're just going to click install. I'm not going to do it because mine's already installed. Um, then you can just exit after that's installed. Uh, here's the key after you do that. Is you need to restart your computer. And then like unplug and plug back in your your controller like once you're like on Fortnite or whatever game you're playing um, and then if that doesn't work just unplug it and replug it back in again the controller and hit the PS button and if that if it nothing turns it on then re redo the process of forcing that driver installation and then restart your PC and just keep unplugging it and those three steps will make it work I swear it's a little janky but if you restart your PC and just keep plug unplugging it and plugging it back in once or twice you shouldn't have much problem. Um, so y'all definitely leave some comments if you can't figure it out. I would love to help. I've already helped one of my buddies. He's finally being able to use his PC. Um, so yeah, as you can see again, here it is. It's working on my PC. Um, one issue is like sometimes when I get back on, like if I get on my PC after it's been asleep, it won't work. And so I would recommend you just have to restart your PC and then unplug it, plug it back in. Those same steps will make it work every time. So, yep, let me know if y'all have any promises. Please uh, subscribe and uh, like and leave comments. Thanks, y'all.